In this video we're going to talk about depth of field. In the first steps we're going to understand the basics of depth of field and then how to control it inside Thea for SketchUp. Depth of field is the distance defined by the closest and farthest objects in the scene that have acceptable sharpness. The term acceptable sharpness defines an area in front and back of the focal point that remains in focus. Depth of field can be either shallow or deep and it can be affected by the F number, focal length and the distance from the focal point. A shallow depth of field can be used when the subject in focus needs to stand out from its surroundings, while a deep depth of field should be preferred when a large part of the scene has to remain sharp. First, let's see how the F number affects depth of field. Without going into technical details, low F number values will give a shallower depth of field. Notice how changing the F number affects depth of field while we start from high to low values. The next one is how focal length affects depth of field. In this animation, we start with a focal length value of 35 going up to 105 mm. What you see here is that higher focal length values give a shallower depth of field. The last factor affecting depth of field is the distance from the focal point. In this example, the only thing changing is the focal distance. Depth of field gets shallower when the subject in focus gets closer to the camera. Let's move on and see how to control depth of field with Thea for SketchUp. Camera settings can be found in the Camera tab of the Thea Tools window. By default, Thea for SketchUp will render the scene with full sharpness and this has to do with the fact that the F number is set to pinhole. This basically means that the depth of field is infinite. To start seeing the effect of depth of field, we will need to change the F number to any value other than pinhole. See how the image changes as we go from high to low F number values. With autofocus turned on, Thea will focus on the first object at the center of the viewing area. Watch how the focal point changes as we move away from the main subject. If you want to manually set the focus distance, autofocus needs to be disabled. We can then click on the Set button and click inside the SketchUp window to define the focus distance. There is another way to control depth of field and that is the sharpness value. This value defines the overall sharpness of the image with lower values resulting in a shallower depth of field. Thank you for watching.